Hi, my name's Ron. I live in Star Valley, Wyoming. I've been here about five years, and I want to just share a little bit about where we live and, and my, my wood stove. When we moved here, we have a long winter. We're at 6,300 feet, get about 40 to 50 inches of snow stacked up in the yard, and I was concerned, being remote, that I might need some backup in case we lose power for a day or two, and I wanted a wood stove to enjoy and also for an emergency. And I've enjoyed my stove. We'll have a long spell in the winter for where we spend a lot of time below zero and sometimes doesn't get much above zero during the day. And I'll usually build a, a fire in my stove about four o'clock in the afternoon so I can come down to my family room and enjoy a movie or TV and feel comfortable. I've got a big open stairway that about an hour after my stove goes on, my whole house warms up. But usually by about, I don't put any more wood in after about nine or 10 o'clock at night. So by two or three in the morning, the fire goes out and I've got a pretty tall chimney and sometimes when it's really cold out, I'll start to get a downdraft. And of course the fire's out, there's no smoke, but a lot of cold air comes down. So the next day when I go to build my fire, sometimes it'll backdraft and it starts getting smoke into my house. And sometimes it's kind of challenging to overcome that backdraft. And so I'll get a lot of smoke in here and my wife's got a, she quilts and she's back here in the back of the room. She's got five sewing machines and some quilts. She's got a pretty good collection of Pendleton blankets and just upstairs above the open stairway she's got a grand piano and when that, that smoke all settles it leaves a little bit of dust and residue and so I've done a lot of different things to try and overcome that. I tried for a while I got one of her old hair dryers and if it was down drafting I'd, I'd open the stove up and try and blow air up the pipe and that would work after about 10 minutes but during that 10 minutes a lot of other soot and stuff would blow out so I'd have that in the room to contend with also. So I didn't like that and so I've tried, and pretty successful most of the time, just put a lot of paper in there and get the fire going. Sometimes it, it, it doesn't go right away, and so I get a bunch of paper smoke and other smoke in the house, and it'll make this room so smoky you can't hardly see across it. Make your eyes burn, nose burn, and it's just, it's not very nice. And so I was down uh, at, the, at the Mercantile in Afton, Wyoming, and saw this, this draw collar. And so I... In fact, my wife was there. I wouldn't. I didn't go there. She went there for the little things that they sell and that she likes. But she talked about, saw that, and talked to John about it. And so I went down a couple of days later and wanted to know if there's something I could do to not get any downdrafts. And so he told me about it, and I got it. And I have not had a downdraft since I got that thing installed. It's so nice because now my wife's not yelling at me because I got smoke rolling up the stairs and stuff on everything and. We love our fire. I love having this nice warm room in the winter. And now I don't have to deal with all that other stuff. Uh, it overcomes, it keeps the, the, the chimney a little bit warm so all the, 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 war, the warm air goes up. The other thing that's nice is even if I wasn't gonna build a fire that day, when that's down drafting, I got a pretty efficient stove, but it still isn't completely airtight. It can't be, there's gotta be some air going in to burn. And all that 10 or 20 below air temp cold temperature air is coming down that pipe and it just chills this whole basement off. And with that thing installed and, and the warm air going up, I don't deal with that anymore either. So that's kind of a Reader's Digest story about me and my stove and how we've got some help overcoming that trouble with downdrafting. And I'm sure that smoky stuff that I'm breathing and in my eyes and in my throat isn't good for me either.